This is a remarkable story now, but a Canadian medical first that could have a huge impact on people waiting for donor kidneys. As the CBC's Cass Rusi reports, it takes the whole concept of paying it forward to a whole new level. Like thousands of other Canadians, Ditja Nawalski is on a waiting list for a kidney. While she waits, 10 hours of dialysis is her daily reprieve. So Nawalski was elated by the news of the multi-kidney transplant. The fact that it's a possibility for me now opens up so many more doors and it's a very exciting prospect. It's a first in Canada, a multi-city, four-way kidney swap, matching living donors with complete strangers needing a transplant. It was a logistical nightmare, but medical teams pulled it off. The donors in this particular set, this four-way swap, all elected to travel to the recipient centers for their surgery. And my hats are off to, my hats off to them because that, that's a, a huge compromise, I think. Here's how it happened. Four operating rooms in three hospitals, Vancouver, Edmonton and Toronto, mobilized for eight surgeries, all performed simultaneously. We started at 7.30 in Vancouver, at 8.30 in Edmonton, and at 10.30 in Toronto, and all of the operating rooms were in telephone contact to make sure that all the patients were asleep before any of the surgeons started the actual operation. The four donors were matched with four compatible recipients. It started with the first donor, a good Samaritan from BC, who offered a kidney to a stranger. That stranger's partner then gave a kidney to a second patient. And that patient's partner gave to a third patient. Finally, that person's partner gave to a fourth patient who was on a waiting list. The so-called domino transplant was possible because of a new national registry that matches donors with recipients. We're offering a, a new way of, of getting transplants and then it puts less pressure uh, for all those who are waiting on the, uh, the wait list. The donors and recipients are recovering in hospital and doing well. The Canadian Blood Services, meanwhile, is already planning the next domino transplant this summer. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.